a picture-perfect promenade scarred by the horror of last night's attack. French investigators have spent much of the day piecing together what happened here. Fingerprints found in this lorry confirmed its driver as being Mohamed Bouhalal. He lived alone in this apartment building in Nice. Police have forced their way in, and a neighbor confirmed this identity card as belonging to him. Police investigators have taken away anything that could throw a light on why Bouhalal would commit such an abominable act. Another neighbor recalls his behavior as being odd. He looked at us weirdly. If we arrived at the building behind him, he would slam the door in our faces. Frankly, not normal. So what do we know about the attacker in Nice? Mohamed Bouhalal was a 31-year-old delivery driver. He was Tunisian by birth, he had three children, but he lived alone in Nice. He also had a police record for petty crime and violence. Mohamed Lawesh Boulel était connu des services de police et de justice. He was known by the police for violence and petty theft between 2010 and 2016. He was convicted in March and sentenced by the court to six months in prison. But there is nothing to suggest any sign of radicalization. At a separate address in Nice today, police arrested a woman thought to be Bou Halel's wife. Friends and neighbors tried to keep the media at bay. And in Tunisia, near the resort town of Sous, Mohamed Bouhalal's father, Mondar, has revealed his son was on medication for psychiatric problems. We thought he was doing well. Here is the medical certificate. I took him to the psychologist. He followed his treatment. But sometimes he would have nervous breakdowns and demolish everything. I think the problems with his wife might have made things worse. Tonight, the instrument of so many people's death and injury has been towed away. But the unanswered questions remain. Why did this man commit mass murder? And was he driven by mental illness or ideology?